All right. We're going to go ahead and get started today just having a seat on the mat. Finding that comfortable position. Legs crossed, feet out, feet up, whatever's comfortable. Let the hands fall to wherever's comfortable, whether that's on your legs, resting in the lap, down by the sides. And we'll start to close the eyes. This person. There we go. All right. Start to focus on that breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Feeling it move all the way through the body, filling all the spaces in the lungs. And then feeling it leave the body with each exhale. Taking time to see how that breath makes us feel. Allowing us to start to let the day go. And bring ourselves into our rooms and onto our mat. So just take these next few breaths here to focus on it. And we'll take one more deep inhale in. Exhaling it all out. And we'll slowly start to open the eyes back up and make our way onto our hands and our knees, taking our time, getting up there, no rush. And once we're up on those hands and knees, line those wrists up right under those shoulders, those knees right under those hips, feet tops are flat on the floor on behind our legs. And we'll take an inhale in, dropping that belly down, bringing that gaze up. And exhale, roll that spine up to fetch into the chest. And inhale, dropping that belly down, bring that gaze up. And exhale, roll that spine up, tuck the back chin. Inhale, dropping that belly down, bring that gaze up. And exhale, roll that spine. Moving through it a couple more times. Inhale, dropping that belly down, bringing my gaze up. And exhale, roll that spine. And last time, dropping that belly down, gaze up. And exhale, roll that spine in. And on that next inhale, come to that neutral spine. <clears throat> Take a second to make sure everything's all lined up. And then we'll take that right hand, bringing it either off to the side or we can shoot it up towards the sky. And as we exhale, start to sweep that hand in between that leg and dropping that forehead to the mat. Taking that left hand, either stretching it straight out in front of us or bringing it, draping it on that lower back. And taking those deep breaths here. Feeling that twist in the back, starting to loosen up all the way down that spine.
And we'll take that left hand, place it right by that face. Start to put pressure in that hand, bringing yourself up on all fours again. Taking that second to line everything back up. And we'll move to that left side, taking that left hand either coming straight out to the side or shooting that hand up to the sky. And as we exhale, threading it between that opposite hand and knee, dropping that cheek down onto the mat. Taking that right hand, either letting it rest over that lower back or walking it out, stretching it straight out. And take those deep breaths here. And we'll take that right hand, placing it right by that face, putting pressure up into that hand, bringing ourselves back up on all fours, lining everything up, and then we'll take those big toes, place them together, and we can either take the knees so they're wide on the mat or keeping the legs right where they are, start to sink those hips down onto those feet, bringing that forehead down onto that mat. <clears throat> Letting those arms stretch out in front of us, getting a nice stretch all the way down that back. And then once we feel that stretch, if those arms need a little break, you can take them and bring them alongside the legs, letting those shoulders rest. And take those deep breaths here. And on that next inhale, pushing ourselves back up onto all fours. <clears throat> we'll tuck those toes behind us, lift those hips up to the sky, coming into a down dog. We'll hold this for just a breath. And on that next inhale, walk those feet up to those hands. Folding ourselves over the legs with a little bit of a bend in those knees, letting that head hang. And then taking those hands, placing them on the thighs, and slowly rolling all the way up. Stacking each vertebrae as we come up. That head comes up last. And roll those shoulders down the back. Let the hands rest to the sides. We'll take a deep breath here. And exhale it out. On that next inhale, bring those arms up. Gaze up towards those thumbs. Exhale, swan down yourselves over those legs. Inhale, come to that half lift, sliding those hands right under those knees. Exhale, folding back down over those legs. On that next inhale, we're going to step the feet back to that high plank or drop onto those knees. As you exhale, coming all the way onto that mat. Inhale, just lifting that chest up. And exhale down. Inhale, push back to that down dog. So if we want to go through all fours here, we can. Lifting those hips. And take that breath here. And on that next inhale, walk those feet up to those hands. Folding ourselves over those legs. And inhale all the way up. Bring those arms. 
exhaling them down. Doing that one more time. Inhaling arms up. Exhale, swan diving over those legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back to that high plank or onto those knees. Exhaling all the way down. Inhale, just lift that chest. Exhale, down. Inhale, push back to that down dog. And we'll hold this down dog for a couple breaths here. So feel free to pedal those feet out, lifting one heel, dropping the other. Maybe one side's a little bit tighter, need to hold that heel down just a little bit longer. And then let those legs come to stillness. We'll hold this for a couple breaths. And we'll move into a little bit different form of our down dog. So we'll come down onto those elbows. So what we can do is either straight from the down dog, we can just drop down onto those elbows. Or from our down dog, we can drop onto our knees, place the elbows onto the mat, and then push those hips up. Whatever way is more comfortable for you. Those hands are just coming straight out, resting on the mat. Letting that head hang between the shoulders, between those elbows. And we'll hold it for just a couple more breaths here. And we'll move back up into our down dog. So again, we can just pop those hands up. Or we can drop onto those knees and then pop ourselves into that down dog. Feeling maybe just a little bit more stretchier in those shoulders. Take a breath. And on that next inhale, walk the feet up to the hands. We're going to fold ourselves over our legs. So again, we can always put a bend in those legs. Whatever's comfortable, letting that head hang. And we're going to move a couple of times, just going from this fold into our half lift. So on our inhale, we're going to start to slide those hands right on the knees. And as we exhale, just folding back over the legs. And we'll inhale, coming to that half lift, sliding those hands right into the knees. Exhale, folding back down. And we'll do it one more time. Inhale, coming halfway. And exhale, come back down. And just take a little bit of a notice right here. Maybe, maybe just a little closer to those legs. If not, that's okay. And we'll start to toe heel those feet. So they're about hip distance apart or shoulder di distance. We're gonna move into our chair pose from our fold. So we're gonna start to sink those hips down. And then start to lift that upper body up. Swinging those arms around. That gaze is going forward. Keeping those tailbones nice and tucked and all that weight in those heels. Forward nice and wide on those toes. 
And we'll take a couple breaths here. And on that next inhale, popping ourselves back up. Exhale, drop those arms down. And we'll let those hands rest and take that breath. Exhaling it out. And opening those eyes back up, we're going to take our left leg, stepping it back nice and long on the mat. So we're going to be up on those back toes. So those hips are facing forward, nice and parallel. Our legs are on those railroad tracks, so we're not directly behind each other, but they're parallel on the mat. And we'll hold the pose here with those hands on those hips. So we're going to move through a couple poses here with this bent leg. So if at any time you need to straighten that leg to kind of give it a little break and then go back into that bend, feel free. Or if you need to shake it out, anything you do here to help get through these next couple poses. And we'll inhale, bring those arms up. If you want to add a tiny bit of a back bend to this pose, you can bring that gaze up towards the sky and start to shift that upper body back, or just keeping ourselves straight up and down with that gaze forward, whatever is comfortable for you today. If we're in that back bend, we want to make sure to engage those abs, making sure they're nice and tight to help a little bit with that lower back. Sometimes you lose your balance a little bit in that back bend, and that's okay. And if we are in that back bend, we'll start to bring that gaze back forward. Again, we're going to move through two more poses with that leg in that bend. So if you need to straighten it out, I go back in. We're going to exhale, bring the arms parallel to the floor. And then we'll start to turn the upper body towards that bent leg with those arms nice and open. Taking a few breaths here. And we'll start to bring ourselves back forward. Exhale, bring the arms behind the back, resting them on that lower back. You can either kind of bump those knuckles together, or if you want to rest one hand on top of the other, whatever is comfortable for you. This is that last pose with that bent knee. So we'll exhale, shift that upper body forward over that leg. So that right shoulder beats that right knee, just barely resting, if even resting, more hovering. So we're trying to keep that straight line from the crown of the head to that tailbone, trying not to arch that back. We'll hold it for one more breath here. And then we're gonna bring those arms down. And step that right leg back to a down dog. If you need to shake those legs out, shake those legs out. If at any point you need to take a child's pose, feel free. Maybe cuddle those feet again here. Feeling the difference between the legs. Maybe that right leg's a lot looser than that left leg. Let 
let those legs come into stillness if they're pedaling them out. Taking one more breath. And then on that next inhale, lifting the left leg this time. And as we exhale, shifting that left leg forward, dropping between those thumbs. And we'll take those hands, place them on that thigh, give ourselves a little assist up. And then adjust those feet now that we're up into standing so they're on those railroad tracks. We're up on those back toes. Take those hands, place them on the hips, make sure those hips are nice and even with each other. I'm facing straight forward. We'll tuck a couple breaths with those hands on the hips. And then we'll let those hands rest by the side and inhale the arms up. And again, we can stay straight up and down here by keeping that, that gaze forward. Or if we want to add that little bit of that back bend, bringing that gaze up towards the sky and slowly shifting that upper body back. Again, engaging that at those abs, that core, helping take that strain off that lower back. Holding it for a couple breaths. If you're like me, your balance is really off today. And then we'll bring that gaze back forward. Exhale those arms down to those sides so they're out parallel. And then we'll start to shift that upper body towards that bent leg, keeping that, keeping those arms out wide. Again, if you need to straighten that leg at any point, feel free. We'll take a couple breaths here. And we'll start to face back forward. Arms nice and wide. And exhale them behind the back. Again, you can do that fist bump behind your back or rest the hands on top of each other. If you are resting the hands, try to switch those hands so the opposite one is on the bottom this time. And as we exhale, starting to bring that upper body over that leg. I think I forgot to tell you this on the first one, but if you need to release those hands down to the mat, please feel free. Keeping that straight line between the crown of the head down to that tailbone. We'll hold it for just a breath more. And release those hands down. Step that foot back to a down dog. Shake it out. Shake out that other leg. And we'll come down onto those knees. Go ahead and kick those knees out wide if that's comfortable. Big toes together. Sink those hips over those heels. Drop that forehead down for that much deserved child's pose. And take a few breaths here. this opportunity to catch the breath if we've lost it at all. Refocusing on it. 
bringing our mind back to that breath. And on our next inhale, coming back up onto those hands and those knees. Lining ourselves back up, bringing those knees in under those hips. We'll tuck those toes and come up to a down dog. Taking a breath here. On that next inhale, lifting that right leg up with a bend in that knee. As we exhale, shifting that leg forward, dropping that foot between those thumbs. Rotate that back foot so it's parallel with the mat. Take those hands on that thigh, give ourselves that little assist up. And once we're standing, as always, we can adjust those feet. <clears throat> Make sure those hips are Nice and even with each other, facing that side wall or whatever's to the side of you, putting a bend in that front knee. And we'll bring those arms out over those legs, gaze over that front middle finger. Trying to relax those shoulders down the back. And taking those deep breaths. On our next inhale, rotating that front palm so it's facing the sky. As we exhale, starting to shift ourselves back so that Left hand comes on that back thigh. That right hand is up above the head. Gaze going up. And taking those deep breaths here. And we'll inhale, coming back to that warrior two. Putting a bend in that front elbow. And this time as we exhale, shifting over that front leg, bringing that left arm up and overhead. That elbow resting on that right thigh, just lightly resting. Trying to keep the length in the back and bringing the gaze either up at the ceiling at that side or down at that front foot. Taking those few breaths here. And then on that next inhale, coming back to that warrior two for just a breath. Exhale those hands down, straighten that front leg and rotate that foot so it's big, so it's parallel with the mat. And then walk those toes so they're even with each other. We'll inhale, bring those arms up. And as we exhale, just let ourselves Pull down between those legs. And letting the head hang. Letting those shoulders hang. Just letting it all relax here. You want to do some circles with that head. Or shake it yes and shake it no. Try to let those knees relax. Try not to cinch them up. We 
We'll take one more breath here. And then take those hands, placing them right in front of that face, straightening those elbows and walking ourselves to the front of our mat, rotating those feet. So we're up on those back toes and then stepping that right foot back into a down dog. Taking just a couple breaths here. Feel free at any point to pedal those feet out or if you need to shake the legs out, anything you need right here. And let those legs come to stillness. And on that next inhale, we're going to lift that left leg, this time with that bend in the knee. As we exhale, start to shift that foot forward, dropping it between those thumbs. Rotating that back foot so it's parallel with the mat. Hands on that thigh, bringing ourselves up. I'll rotate around so you guys can see me. So again, once we're up in that standing, adjusting those feet, placing those hands on those hips, turning those hips over to that side, making sure they're nice and even with each other, and then putting that bend in that front knee. Arms out over those legs, gaze over that front middle finger, and relax those shoulders down the back. And take those deep breaths. And we'll take that front palm, rotate it so it's facing up towards that sky. As we exhale, starting to shift that arm back, letting that right hand come rest on that back of that thigh. That left hand coming at that angle over that head. Gaze going up towards the sky. And taking those deep breaths here. Take one more breath. Come back to that warrior two. And we'll put that bend in that front elbow. And as we exhale, this time shifting ourselves forward, letting that right hand come up and overhead, that left elbow resting just gently onto that thigh. Gaze up at the ceiling, at that side wall, or down at the floor and take those deep breaths. And we'll hold it for one more breath here. And on that inhale, bring yourselves back up to that warrior two for just a breath. Release those arms down straight in that front leg. Rotate that foot so it's parallel with the mat. And again, line up those toes so they're nice and even with each other. And we'll inhale those arms up. And exhale again, falling right between those legs. And letting everything just relax. If you want to add just a little bit more weight to kind of pull that shoulder down, those shoulders down, you can take a hold of those elbows and then let that head hang. 
just allowing those shoulders to kind of relax a little bit more. And we'll release those elbows if we have a hold of them. Take those hands, placing them right up to the face, straightening those arms. And this time we're going to toe heel those feet in closer together so they're about hip distance apart. Or shoulder distance if you want to go a little bit wider here, that's okay. And we're going to go into a nice low squat here. So just starting to sink those hips all the way down to those heels. If those Achilles are pretty tight like mine, those heels probably won't be touching the mat and that's okay. If it's uncomfortable, you can take the mat and kind of roll it up or a pillow or anything and stick it behind those heels. That helps a little bit. And then we'll go into a little bit of a balance here. So finding that spot on that floor that's not moving, slowly lifting those hands up off the ground, bringing that upper body up, bringing those hands in together right over the heart. And taking those couple breaths here. Trying to keep some length in the back here. So we don't want to be arching ourselves forward or rounding that upper back at all. So we'll hold it for one more breath here. Slowly place those hands back down onto the mat. And we'll start to straighten those legs coming up into that forward fold. Letting all that blood rush back into those feet. You want to wiggle those toes around, kind of bend those knees back and forth, or rock the feet side to side, whatever helps. And we'll step the feet back to a down dog. Taking a breath here. And then making our way down onto our knees. And then having a seat onto our mats. <clears throat> we'll take the legs straight out in front of us and just kind of rock them back and forth here. Did a lot of work on those cat or those quads today. So just let them stretch out, kind of bend those knees, rock them back and forth. And then straighten those legs out and kind of rock those hips so we're up on those sit bones. We'll take that left leg, placing that foot on the mat. And then cross that foot over that right leg so that foot's right about on the outside of that knee. Sitting up nice and tall here as we inhale. And then exhale, we're going to twist towards that bent leg, bringing that right hand alongside that leg. Gaze going over that back shoulder. If that gaze, or if that is comfortable, if not, the gaze can just be over at that side. And then take those deep breaths here. And we'll slowly make our way back forward. Slowly uncross that leg. 
Again, we'll shake those legs out in front of us. And then take that right foot, place it on the mat. And then cross that foot over. Sitting up nice and tall. Take an inhale here. And as we exhale, shifting towards that bent leg, bringing that left arm alongside that leg. And gaze going over that back shoulder, if it's there, or just at that side wall. And taking those deep breaths, feeling that twist all the way down the back. And we'll slowly make our way back, facing forward. Uncross those legs, give them that little bit of a wiggle. And then we're slowly going to make our way all the way down onto our mats. Keeping a bend in those knees, having those feet onto the mat, placing those feet on the mat. Take those hands and just kind of bring them alongside the body so they're kind of tucked into the body a little bit. And then if we can, kind of try to walk the feet as close to the hips as we can get them. Might be like me, where you have a very slippery mat, and that's okay. Just kind of trying to walk ourselves up a little bit. And then we'll inhale, lifting those hips up towards the sky, holding those hips up there. You guys keep that pose. I think I lost you. Can't see you. Just keep that pose. Hold on. Sorry, everyone. Apologize, keep. All right, we'll keep holding that bridge and then slowly start to release those hips back down onto the mat. And we'll do that one more time. Again, I mean, if we need to walk those feet a little bit closer, we can walk those feet a little bit closer to those hips, taking those hands into the chest. And this time we're actually gonna incorporate the hands and add a little bit of movement. So we'll inhale, start to lift those hips up and we'll start to lift the hands so they come overhead. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring those hips back down and then shift those arms back down alongside the body. Not going too fast through this. So inhale, lifting those hips, bringing those arms up overhead. Exhale, start to drop those hips down, bringing those arms back down alongside the body. Doing it just a couple more times. Inhale, bring those hips up, arms up overhead. Exhale, dropping those hips down, bringing those arms back down. And we'll do it one more time. Inhale, bring those arms up. Hips up. And exhale, bring those hips back down, bring those arms back down. And we'll bring those knees and the chest, take a hold of the legs and slowly rock side to side. And 
And then we'll come back center, release those feet back down onto the mat. Take the arms out to the sides of the body like a T. Walk those feet over to the right and then shift those hips over. Bring the knees up into the chest and exhale, drop those legs over to that left side. And take those breaths, feeling that twist all the way down that body. And on that next inhale, lifting that right knee up, followed by that left knee, placing those feet down onto the mat, and then walking those feet over to that left side, and bring those knees into the chest. And as we exhale, dropping them down to that right side. And we'll slowly bring that left leg up, followed by that right leg. Take those feet, placing them back down on the mat. Walk those feet back center, shift those hips over. And we can keep the hands out to the side if that's comfortable, or if you want to bring them down alongside the body, whatever is comfortable for you, you can just go ahead and rest those hands. We'll take those knees, just lift those legs straight up so those knees are facing straight up, trying to keep them over those hips, and just draw some circles on the ceiling with those knees, going in one direction, giving ourselves just a little bit of a massage on that sacrum. And then change the direction of those circles. And then bring those knees up into the chest, straighten those legs as much as we can. And then point and flex those toes. And then do some circles with those ankles. And switch the direction of those circles. And then point and flex. And then let those feet come. Let those 
knees still come with that bend, facing straight up, going just side to side here. Just a couple on each side. And then coming back center, letting those feet come down, and then let those legs come all the way down onto the mat. Take those arms up overhead, doing one final stretch here. So stretch those arms all the way up, stretch those legs all the way down, just like we're waking up from bed in the morning. Full body stretch here, and then let it all just Fall onto the mat. Let those legs fall to wherever's comfortable. Bring those arms down alongside the body. Start to close the eyes. Start to refocus on the breath. Feeling the breath fill each space in the lungs as we inhale in. And then feeling it leave all those spaces as we exhale out. Taking the time to clear the mind of any thoughts we may have. Letting the body release any tension it might be holding. Feeling all the stresses from the day just melting away as we sink deeper and deeper into our mouth. Taking the opportunity to not have to worry about anything, to not have to think about anything, to just be here on your mat. If you find that thoughts start to enter your mind, or maybe it's hard to shut it all off right, right now. Try to just focus on the breath. Maybe counting each inhale and exhale. But taking the time to feel it move into the body. Taking these next few minutes allow yourself to just be wherever you're at.
start to bring a little life back into your body by wiggling your fingers and toes. Roll your wrists and ankles. Rock your head from side to side. Begin to deepen your inhales and exhales. And when you feel ready, slowly take one foot, place it on the mat, and follow it by that other foot. And then slowly bring one knee into the chest, followed by the other, taking a hold of those legs and rocking side to side. And when you feel ready, roll onto your right side. With your right side grounded by the earth, leaving your left side open to the sun and moon and the stars and all the gifts the universe has to offer you today. When you feel ready, come up to a comfortable seated position. We'll take the hands in front of the heart. Close the eyes one last time. Take a deep inhale and exhale it all out. Thank you for sharing your practice with me this evening. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.